Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an image to your Simbly application. I have with me the Simbly development kit, number RFD 77803, an iPod Touch, and my laptop. Let's get started. For this example, we're going to be using the USB shield, 7-pin GPIO breakout, and RGB LED shield. Fit these three shields together, making sure that your pins line up correctly. Plug that into your USB port, and you're ready to go. In the Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, Simbly for Mobile, and click the LED button sketch. Navigate to Tools, Port, and make sure the correct port is selected for your Simbly device. Let's compile and upload this sketch. On your iPod, you should see your device listed there. Your device name is Simbly, and it's advertising LED button. Go ahead and open that Simbly. You should see two sets of text, a button, and a box below. When you click the button, you should see the green LED light up on the LED shield. In addition to that, Clicking the first button on your LED shield should turn the box on the iPad app green. Let's drop out of this application. We're going to make some changes in the Arduino IDE. First of all, we need to save our LED button sketch. We'll save it on our desktop as LED button underscore modified. That should add a new folder on your desktop. Let's make some changes. Scroll down to the void setup function. Right above the Simbly for Mobile advertisement data line, let's add a new line. Put Simbly for Mobile dot device name equals light. We'll also change our advertisement data. Remove LED button and place LED in its place. Compile and upload, and you should see the changes on the iPod app. Let's add an image to our application. Here you'll see I have two pictures, symbly.jpg and lighton.png. We'll use the Symbly logo first. For this step, you're gonna need your command prompt open. Go ahead and do that now. We're gonna use an application called XXD. This application will convert your image into hexadecimal format to be included in your Symbly sketch. Since we're using a Windows platform, we need to install the XXD tool. Go to www.vim.org slash download.php. Click PC MS-DOS and MS Windows, and click the gvim74.exe link. Once the download is complete, click the file you just downloaded. When asked if you would like to install Vim 7.4 on your computer, click yes. Click I agree, next, and Vim will install. Once complete, click the close button. Now let's make it easier to get to the XXD tool. Open a file browser, navigate to C, program files x86, scroll down to Vim, Vim 7.4, Drag the xxd.exe executable to your desktop. Let's convert our image. Type xxd.exe, give it the i flag, symbly.jpg, and we'll output symbly underscore jpeg dot h. That should create a new file for you, named simbly underscore jpg dot h. Go ahead and close the command prompt. We're done with that for now. Let's pull that file into our sketch. Go ahead and click and drag that into your Arduino IDE. Change the simbly underscore jpeg variable to be a constant. 
By default, your image is stored in RAM. To store it in Flash, we'll add the const keyword. Go ahead and save that file. Let's return to our main sketch. We need to include our Simbly JPEG header file. Up at the top, under Simbly for Mobile.h, we'll add another line. Let's include our Simbly underscore JPG header file. Next, scroll down to the UI function. We're going to make a couple changes here to add the image to our application. For the first line of our UI function, we're going to define image 1 to be 1. Next, we need to define our image source. To make sure our image is uploaded before we draw to the screen, we must add the image source function before the image draw function. Under the simply for mobile.begin screen line, let's add a comment. Comments are super important in case anyone wants to read your code at a later date. To create a comment, we use two forward slashes. Then we'll add image source for the company logo. To define our image source, we use the simply for mobile source function. This function takes four arguments. The first is the image ID, which we defined earlier as image one. The second is the type of image. For this, we're using a JPEG, so JPG. The third argument is the name of the variable that contains your image data. That's back in the simbly underscore jpg header file. You'll see here that that variable is named simbly underscore jpg. The fourth and final argument is the length of your image data. That's also in your simbly underscore jpg header file. All the way at the bottom, you'll find the name of that variable. It's simbly underscore jpg underscore len. Return to your sketch and type that in as your fourth argument. Finally, let's draw our logo. Add another comment for anyone reading your code. We're going to use the simbly for mobile dot draw image function. This function takes three arguments. The first is your image ID, which we defined as image one. The second is our X location. And the third is our Y location. Enter image one for your image ID, 50 for our X location, and 25 for our Y location. Compile and upload your sketch, and you should see the changes in your Simbly app. Notice how you now have the Simbly logo at the top of your screen. When pressing the first button on the RGB LED shield, you'll notice the box on the bottom of the application turn green. Let's change that to show an image. Each image must have its own image source so that your application can accurately differentiate. We're going to use the lighton.png image. Open your command prompt again. Type xxd.exe, give it the I flag, and the name of your image, lighton.png. We'll output this file to lighton underscore png dot h. Again, that should create a new file for you called lighton underscore png dot h. Go ahead and close the command prompt. Let's include this new file in our assembly sketch. Click and drag it into the Arduino IDE. At the top of this file, change the lighton underscore png variable to be a constant. We need to include this file. So return to your assembly sketch. At the top of your sketch, include lighton underscore png dot h. Now we'll add a variable to track the status of our LED button. Add the ui underscore light variable directly above the void loop function. Let's make some changes to our ui function. We need to define our second image. Type define image2, 2. two. Let's add our second image source. Type simply for mobile dot image source. Use the image2 variable as our first argument. PNG as our second argument. Light on underscore PNG as our third. 
and light on underscore PNG underscore len as our fourth argument. We need to propagate our UI underscore light variable. Type UI underscore light equals symbly for mobile dot draw image. Remember, this function takes three arguments. Our first argument is our image ID, which is image two. Our second argument is our X location, which is 80. And our third argument is our Y location, 380. We need to remove two lines. Remove the symbly for mobile dot draw rect and the UI underscore rect equals symbly for mobile dot draw rect lines. Let's put an image there instead. Scroll up to the void loop function. Since we are no longer changing the color of our rectangle and instead changing our picture, let's remove the update color function call. We'll use the symbly for mobile set visible function. Type symbly for mobile dot set visible and give it two arguments. The first, UI underscore light, and the second, digital read of button. We compile and upload and return to our iPod app. Let's see our changes on the iPod app. Open your assembly device and click the first button. You should see the image appear on your screen. You can find more documentation at simply.com.